Hey everyone. So on this video, I'm just going to go over mCloud and exactly how to get to it, why you'd want to get to it and all of that. So first things first, go to cloud.midasconsoles.com. Once you're there, you'll be prompted with the sign in page. If you don't have account, have an account already, you can click at the bottom and click in uh, the sign up. But in this case, I do have an account here, so I'm going to log myself in. All right, so once we log in, you'll see on the left-hand side, there'll be My Drive, which will feature everything that I have in my mCloud at the moment. It includes shows, presets, channel lists, if I were to have them. So channel lists are what can be, um, you can buy an, an Excel sheet, you can type everything out and then be able to upload that into the desk. So uh, channel lists. Next we have devices. So this would show uh, if you've registered your console, that information would show up there. Active sessions, just show, um, where you were at the last time you logged in. Um, moving forward, firmware. So a big part of mCloud is uh, where you can find the editors. So under firmware, you can find the Mac uh, offline editor as well as Windows. So um, Windows people can rejoice. We do have a Windows offline editor now. And the great thing between both of those, between the Mac and the Windows, uh, they're updated at the same time a new firmware comes out for the desk. So when you go here, you can read the notes as to what has changed. And then on the far right under menu here, if you click the three dots, that's where you can actually physically download it. So you have the editors there. And then if you have um, a 9680, so the DN9680 uh, expands the snake ports giving eight more eight es50 ports so um, when you purchase that uh, it's going to have the firmware for just being an expander so you're going to have uh, version 151 or that would be the latest for for the um, the 9680 expander and we need to update that to 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.8 .0 uh, so that it will talk to the hd console so that firmware can also be found within mcloud and last but not least, uh, this interactive HD manual is also located in mCloud. So if I click home, it takes me through every chapter. So pretty intuitive to get through um, a nice uh, search function at the top. Um, on the right, you can also view the chapters that way. And this gets updated um, much more regularly than the PDF that is on the website. So encourage you to utilize this manual when um, you know learning the HD but uh, for now that is um, overall what mCloud is there's going to be more stuff being added in here so if we were to look at filters for example you'll see things that aren't implemented yet but they will be for channel presets so a lot of stuff still to come but a very powerful tool to um, to share files um, without needing USB drives um, and any other things. So, thanks.